it might be a drug den. I've seen shenanigan out here getting high a couple of times. Of all the bucket positions out here, this is our buck's favorite one to use. When I'm out here making sure the goats have water, this is the one that's most likely to be bone dry. I'm putting in a larger bucket here, bigger than some of these others. So hopefully it won't run out quite as fast. I'm not sure if the extra weight might eventually pull this fence out of shape or worse. Let me say that again about the chicken. I'm not sure if the extra weight could eventually pull this. Clyde, stop nibbling. You're nibbling my elbow. That's not nice. Okay, I'm not sure if this, I happen to have an extra bucket hanger. So it's easy enough to use that. First, to keep the goats occupied, let's give them some weed snacks over on the other side of their pen. Goats lucky day. Oh, who's excited? few weeks back, the temperatures changed drastically. We went from mild wet spring 
to hot, dry summer weather overnight. It's a good thing that the deep, gooey mud in our goat pens dried up, but I think it stressed our chickens. We were getting a more drastic variety of egg sizes. I saved a couple to show you. We didn't get any of those really tiny eggs that I've shot video of in the past. And oddly enough, we seem to be getting more of the larger eggs. If anyone else out there has chickens, let me know if you've experienced a difference in egg sizes based on quickly shifting temperatures. I don't typically sell these eggs. We'll just use them ourselves. I just wouldn't want folks to feel shortchanged by the small eggs. And the large ones are just likely to break because they don't really fit in the egg cartons. Remember those baby birds from our 4th of July video? They've gotten bigger. Look at this little scruffy headed guy. You doing okay in there? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Don't be afraid. Part one of Troll on Patrol with Sheriff Buddy was titled, Brian Doesn't Want You to See This. In that video, Buddy borrowed my camera and I included clips of things mostly closer to the house. In this video, Buddy's adventure continues, but further out into the woods. Sheriff Buddy here, troll on patrol. Actually, I'm not quite sure what to shoot video of, but this is something Brian might find interesting. This old tree stump with the mossy top and the skylight. It might be a drug den. I've seen shenanigan out here getting high a couple of times. I know what you're thinking. Forest fairies are already so weird. How could you even tell if one of them is high on something? You just can. You know it when you see it. You know, it's none of my business what a forest fairy does or doesn't do out here. But I kind of wanted Brian to know about this. I don't know what shenanigan takes or how she takes it, but what if secondhand smoke or spent needles or whatever she might be using ends up hurting some wild, innocent bunny rabbit? You know, I recognize that stump. There's got to be some innocent explanation for what Buddy saw. Let's just go out there and see if shenanigans around and we can talk with her about it. Before we go out to the woods, look at this asparagus. Wendy planted that asparagus, I think maybe a year or two after we moved into this place. That means it's got to be at least three or four years old. She picked a really bad spot for it though. Every single year I mow this thing over with my lawnmower. The grass grows up around it, the rose bush kind of grows and falls over it, so I just don't see it in front of my lawnmower. This year, I made a very special effort not to mow it over so I could show you just how big it gets. She 
Shenanigan, do you have a moment? Hey Brian, what's up? Buddy thought he saw you out here intoxicated. I just wanted to know what you had to say about it. This is a sacred place for special rituals, some of which do include hallucinogenics. So this must be some kind of sweat lodge, sort of, but I don't have to burn anything or sweat to call upon my visions. <clears throat> Cultural and spiritual practices are good and all. I just wanted to make sure you weren't cooking meth out here or anything. I'm glad you were concerned enough to ask, Brian. It's not recreational or illegal or even dangerous. I'd let you try some, but it doesn't affect humans. You wouldn't feel anything. What exactly are you taking? Dandelions. Those yellow flowered weeds that always pop up in the lawn? Yep. They help me sense the oneness of all living things. You do such a good job of pulling all the dandelions and feeding them to the chickens. I have to forage mine in the neighbor's yard. I don't think anybody would mind having a few less dandelions in their yard. I'm surprised that you would need any kind of drugs at all, shenanigan. Back in my video, my first taste of the fairy realm, I got a little taste of what it's like on a normal day for shenanigans, altered perceptions. What in the world must it be like for you to be tripping, shenanigan? The perception of reality and time is much more fluid for us fairies, but it's consciously controlled. Dandelions produce a more unexpected experience and an altered self-awareness that goes well beyond our normal empathic connections. It sounds spiritual. Do these experiences give you guidance on life decisions? Do you actually learn new things about the world? I know you can already relive the past of, of your direct ancestors through, through your songline dancing. Do these experiences help you see the future? Some fairies say they can see the future. That hasn't happened to me yet. I wouldn't exactly say I learn new things about the world. It's more like remembering the true nature of things. Truth is like that. When you hear it, it's like you always already knew it and just needed to be reminded. It does help in life decisions. Having a perspective of the oneness of all life liberates you from more narrow concerns. This is all so fascinating, folks. But I think this video is just about long enough. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'll have to save Buddy's last video segment for part three of Troll on Patrol with Sheriff Buddy. Please subscribe if you haven't done that already.